My name is Robert Judson. Uh, I came to UCSF to work in Robert Blaylock's laboratory to research uh, safer ways to make stem cells for regenerative medicine. And our new paper in Nature Biotechnology highlights uh, a first step in using a, a safe molecule called microRNAs to create these cell types. Stem cell research is definitely the future of uh, medicine, certainly personalized regenerative medicine. What you can do is you can take patients who have damaged cells, such as patients with spinal cord injury, uh, and diabetics who are missing insulin producing cells, any disease you can think of that involves missing or damaged tissue. And you could take these stem cells and turn them into the cells the patients need. So what our lab wanted to look into was microRNAs that were highly expressed in embryonic stem cells. We then looked to see whether we could introduce these same molecules into the somatic cells, such as skin cells, and see if that increased uh, the efficiency of reprogramming these cells into an embryonic stem cell-like state. Reprogramming, or de-differentiation, is the technology where you take any type of cell in the body, um, for example, from a hair follicle or a small skin sample, and you turn that cell into the equivalent of an embryonic stem cell. So the great thing about this technology is that you can derive stem cells um, specifically from the patient who needs them. So you can get them when they're needed, you can get them from the patient so there's no risk of immune rejection, and you don't have to use an embryo at all. So the, the one really neat thing here is reprogramming does happen naturally in human development. But when it happens in human development, it happens with very good efficiency. And we hope to use microRNAs in order to find what the mechanism is. And what we found is that we can take out one of the major oncogenes, one of the major cancer-causing genes in the reprogramming assay, and replace it with this other small molecule um, called a microRNA. By doing this, we've not only increased the efficiency of the reprogramming assay, but we've decreased the number of side effects of the reprogramming assay. This is more of a proof of principle uh, type experiment to show that microRNAs can in fact enhance reprogramming. So one thing we want to do is, is certainly try to replace the other factors with other microRNAs. At the same time, we want to continually work on increasing efficiency. Another great future direction I'm particularly interested in is looking at the roles of reprogramming in tumor genesis. In the formation of cancers, these cells undergo some amount of reprogramming in order to form the cancer stem cell. And we're hoping to screen the entire array of microRNAs to look for molecules that not only increase reprogramming for use in regenerative medicine, but also look for microRNAs that decrease reprogramming for use in cancer therapy. The idea is that we could then use these small molecules to um, suppress cancer stem cells to prevent um, cells from ever becoming cancerous in the first place.